Uh, she's looking like she trained three months. Girl had two years. Okay. She says, look at her yawning. Wow. Look at, oh my goodness, the confident ego. Wow. Look at her facing logistics right here. The pride. Now this girl is a talent. Logistics X from USA, girl. Ooh, she is a dancing queen. She's facing off that girl in green like it's going out of style. Now look at this girl dance, man. Look at how fast she, her smooth transition, her flair. Look at how well she spins. She's about to do it right now. Look at this. Mm. Girl, got it. It's hard to pay attention to the girl in the green, you know, being completely disrespectful to a sport. She knows she trained three months for, but look at this talent right here, y'all. This is what it looks like when you train on the street six hours a day your entire life. Look at that skill. Ooh, girl. Logistics X, y'all. Look at her. That still is not easy to do. Now the girl, she facing off, all right. Trained for three months. That girl in green, who's main, trained for three months. Now why I have a problem with that, all right? Because minorities in America, and I'll say it, African-American people in America, many of them, the only form of sport they can afford to do is break dancing, is dance-offs in the ghetto, all right? I used to have dance-offs in the ghetto. And, you know, sometimes I'd win, sometimes I wouldn't. But I wasn't trying to pretend to be no dancer. I wasn't out there training for three months and being like, oh, yeah, I'm Olympic level. This girl has no shame. And, and let me tell you why I'm mad about it. I am mad about it because they have now closed a sport in the Olympics because someone decided to make a mockery of an actual sport. And not only that, but if you're in the ghetto, all right, your mom can't even afford to put you in volleyball with the school. She can't even afford to put you in soccer with school. What are you going to do? Well, you going to dance after school. You're going to have dance-offs in the ghetto. All right? Let's say you are dancing off and you dream of one day doing something like that. Well, before this year, 2024, that was impossible. But now breakdancing was added to the Olympics. These people deserve a sport in the Olympics. They are excellent. They have trained their whole lifetime. Like, literally, they're incredible. They had an opportunity to break all the poverty, all right? And this Australian elite, and I'll say she got elite privilege, she got white privilege, she got rich privilege, she got, obviously, connection privilege through her husband. She had two years to train, okay? Two years ain't near enough. But she, did she use all the two years? No. Nope. This girl in green who's main trained for three months. That's how much she cares about being Olympic level at a sport. Three months, y'all. Okay? A child could have done that. Um, also, you know, she knows that a lot of people who do this sport, break dancing, are typically minorities. She knows that the people who do this sport are typically poverty people in minorities uh, groups and, and ghetto communities. Why in the world would you have such an ego that you wouldn't take all two years to train and make sure that you represent your country? Why? Because she's an elitist. Because she's a white privilege. Because all she cared about was getting in her pride and her ego yawning while actual competitors had talent. Y'all should be outraged. This girl took her privilege and basically wiped out an opportunity that millions of people in ghetto communities could have had to take their brand da break dancing and turn it into something other than basketball. You know, no offense, but a lot of people in ghetto communities can't afford freaking basketball, can't afford to buy a new ball every couple months, you know, can't afford to travel down to where the court is. Maybe they don't live by a basketball court. And if they are lucky enough to, to have access to that, you know, maybe that's not the sport they want to do. Maybe they love dancing. But, you know, their mom will never be able to put them in classes for Broadway. So they break dance. They break dance for hours a day, y'all. For an entire lifetime. This girl, Logistic X, I love her because she represented America well. Look at her. I mean, she's literally amazing. I I'm literally shocked, though, that the public does not realize that the whole community of ghetto people and were minorities. Um, and some of them are ghetto. Some of them didn't come from the ghetto. But... I know from experience that in my day, uh, we danced in the ghetto. Okay, we break dance. We did all kind of competitions. Um, how in the world is she going to sit there and wipe out a whole community and not apologize and be like, don't do that. I, I 
completely made a mockery. No one needs to get punished because of me. Did she say that? No, she's sitting there making excuses for herself because she's a white privilege, elitist privilege, connection privilege, don't care about nobody who's not privileged, all right? Anyone who's a minority should be really, really, really outraged by this girl's behavior. They need to be breakdancing in the Olympics next time, four years later, okay? This needs to be a part of the Olympics going forward, and I can't believe anyone allowed them to wipe out this particular category because some elitist thought that they could make a mockery of it, all right? I'm not okay with it, and I'm going to keep exposing this girl. I'm going to do more research. I'm just at the tip, girl. I'm going to dig deep. I'm going to explain and show how privileged she is. Show how she don't care about nobody else. Show how she doesn't care about the poverty class or the minority class or the ghetto class, all right? But I do, and I'm going to show that people like Logistic X deserve to be seen. Look at those smooth moves, y'all. I mean, go back and watch her skill doing a freeze like that on her hands, upside down, sideways, defying gravity. I mean, smooth as all get out. I mean, she was amazing, y'all. Let's not punish amazing people like her, Logistic X, because some white privilege decided she was going to ruin a sport for a minority group. All right, not cool. All right, that's it. Have a good day, y'all. Ciao.